Stable or resilient? What matters more? Welcome to Thank God It's a Story Saturday weekly video series where I share stories with you that you can use to make your messages connect. Today's story is from The Infinite Game by Simon Sinek. I have actually not read this book, but a LinkedIn connection, Harmeet shared the story and it's totally a story worth telling. Thank you, Harmeet. Victorinox, the Swiss company famous for making Swiss army knives had their business drastically affected after September 11, 2001. This Swiss army knife, which was the promotional gift, the corporate gift, the birthday gift, the graduation gift, was not allowed in hand luggages. In that kind of a situation, most companies would have taken a very defensive posture. But Victorinox took the offense and embraced this challenge and created an opportunity out of it. They decided to invest a lot more money into new product development. They said they're not going to put any extreme cost measures in place and they're not going to lay off anybody from the company. They did not retrench even one person in such a scenario. They got their people to imagine what new markets they could leverage. In the good times, Victorinox had created some cash reserve because they always knew that there would be difficult times when this would be required. The CEO of the company, Carl Esner, say, if you look at the history of the world economics, it is always like this. It's up and down, up and down. It's never just up, up, up or down, 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 down. So we are not thinking quarters here. We are thinking generations. When they did the new product development portfolio, they came up with new products uh, such as travel gear, fragrances, watches and stuff. Today, Victorinox has doubled its revenue than before September 11th. 90% of it used to come from knives um, and 85% of it close to used to come from the Swiss Army knives. Today, only 35% comes from that on all the other new products contribute towards the the larger revenue that Victorinox is enjoying these days. Now, what is the point of this story? The point of this story personally for me was the importance of building reserves when the good times are there. Now, let's not talk about cash reserves. Let's look at a topic like mental health and well-being, which I'm being engaged a lot in organizations now to build narratives around. Now, mental health and well-being reserves are also need to be built in good times. You cannot feel the burnout and fatigue and then start flapping around and thinking, I'm going to meditate now, I'm going to exercise now, I'm going to do journaling now, and I'm going to, you know, send, spend some silent time now. Only if we build reserves for mental health and well-being in good times, when difficult times come, and they do, they always do, can we pivot and act in the right direction. Stay storied. I'll see you here next Saturday with another story.